What's going on everybody in the building? Man, it's your boy 20D2Wild checking in once again. And today, guys, we have the beautiful IWI Carmel. Now, I've been wanting to get my hands on this one for a minute, man. This has definitely been one of the most anticipated guns that I've seen, especially coming out of 2023. And um, finally now getting my hands on one and being able to shoot it and talk about it today. Um, I'm very excited to do so. So much that I, I'm gonna do a follow-up on this one maybe less than a month from now. Like I, This is my first shots with the Carmel, my first time shooting the Carmel. And I wanna do a follow-up where we take it out, shoot it suppressed, put some more rounds through it and have even more fun with it. But I wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts on this gun at the end of the day. Oh, I guess I could say at the end of the day on this one, okay? But we're gonna calm down with the end of the days moving forward. I'm gonna try. The IWI Carmel has been out, I wanna say for like over a decade now from when I last looked, I think it initially came out like in 2012. Now, I'm not a gun historian, I'm a gun enthusiast. I love shooting guns. I'm not gonna always get things right. But I do know when I was reading about the Carmel, it was a gun that had been out or developed for almost like a decade, 2012 or something of that nature. And it saw some delays or it was, was like, it, it's been out basically. Now it's finally out though in the civilian market. And um, the civilian version is slightly different than the military version, the version that came out, you know, being utilized by the IDF, I would say more than likely. Um, there's some differences on the handguard and also the barrel length as well. But I like this, I have no issue with it. Now the, the military version does look a little bit, it does look a little bit more badass, but I have no issue. I like this setup as well. I like the M locks. It's very easy to utilize. It's a very nice looking gun still overall, 16 inches. It, I, you know, I get it. We would like maybe a 14.5 or whatever, but I'm cool. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. The gun itself is a short stroke piston, so you can shoot it folded. It does fold. It does not have a buffer tube or anything of that nature. Um, and with that being said, it is also a very pleasant shooter. It's a very soft shooter. Um, I was able to stay on target very easily when shooting this gun. So I really enjoyed shooting this gun as well and just, just just mag dumping, but also staying on target, not just all over the place. So I had fun with that. We are utilizing the Metrolite M22. We've shot the M21, which is the OG model. There is a new model on the M22 now. I will do a video on this one very soon as well. And I think it pairs very well with this gun. So it's just overall a very solid package. Um, chrome line barrel, 16 inch barrel, short stroke piston. Um, ambidextrous safety, you got ambidextrous bolt release, ambidextrous magwell, you, uh, uh, I said magwell, uh, mag release. You also got one of the, I gotta say probably the most easiest, uh, ambidextrous charging handle, but one of the easiest ways to swap it. Empty mag, bolt is held open, slot right here. You got it, you just do this and push through. That's it. Now you have it on this side. This is by far one of the easiest swappings of a charging handle that I've seen. Maybe there's another one out there, but for Tony D2 Wild, two wild guns, this is probably one of the easiest that I've so far done myself. But that is phenomenal, and uh, kudos to IWI for doing this. There was a recall on this gun. Um, they already, I believe, they've been taking care of it for a lot of people out there, but I just want to be always transparent. There was a recall for this gun. Um, also, I had some slight issues with this gun. Um, I will put it on the ammo, then the weapon, or over the weapon. If you've been watching some of my range day, I took this out to a previous range day to shoot and was utilizing ammo by the name of New Republic. Um, I got it because it was fairly affordable with 223556 being kind of expensive a little bit, a little bit higher than normal. And I've never had issues with that ammo, but for some reason with this gun, it was giving me issues. At first, it was not feeding the next round, so I adjusted some of the the, uh, the plug here. I adjusted the plug too much and shot the damn plug out and had to go take 45 minutes of break just to find it. Luckily, I was able to find it in the dirt just randomly. Like I, I got lucky, bro. But I, there's two adjustable knobs, and I thought it was three. So I need to make sure, and you guys make sure to please read the manual or watch the YouTube videos on that and don't be like me. Don't be a dummy like me. But yeah, I adjusted it too much and shot it off. I almost had to call for a replacement. But um, we got that adjusted and we was getting it to shoot, but it was not feeding the next round. 
to the point to eventually a bullet or, or, or the cartridge, the bullet shot out, the, the head of the bullet shot out, but the cartridge was stuck in the chamber. Um, and it was almost as if the bolt head would grab onto the rim and try to pull it out, but it would not budge and it would strip that rim and you would see flakings come off of the rim of the cartridge. Um, we had to take it home. I had to get the and my AK cleaning rod and pop that casing out. Um, we went back to the range another day and we brought the rod with us this time and we were shooting and still running into that issue with that same ammo. I contacted IWI, they told me to utilize some more name brand ammo. So basically stop shooting the cheap shit. So we went and got some Winchester, put the Winchester in there, 556 Winchester white box um, and flawless, no issues whatsoever. Ran 300 rounds through it, not one single hiccup whatsoever on that bad boy. Even to the point when we ran out of that, we used another box of that New Republic just to see if we had the same issue and it didn't have an issue after that. So we can call that a break-in, call it whatever you want. I don't know, but keep that in mind when utilizing this. Try to use some decent ammo and not the cheap stuff when utilizing this bad boy right here. The gun itself, as stated, folding stock. You have a uh, adjustable length of pull and height so the length of pull is back here and the comb height is right here up and down i think some people were a little bit upset that the comb height you have to utilize two hands to do that they wish there was one hand and i can kind of see you know what, what the issue is i keep it on i believe i keep mine like on like the second notch but um shoots folded as well i got some paperwork here you know what i'm saying some of the specs so i can say it very smart like and not a uh, fumble of anything but two position gas regulator cold hammer forged chrome line free floating barrel for enhanced accuracy and prolonged life cycle hardenized monolithic aluminum uh mill std uh 1913 rail on the top you got the m-lock accessories at the three six and nine o'clock and this is like really the only part of this that is like of a metal you have the top rail that's also a little bit metal but all this back here is off like a hard polymer um, they utilize the term, what is it? They had a specific name for it. High strength impact modified polymer. Designed for minimum operator and armor level maintenance, which you can see like, I mean, taking this apart was fairly easy when trying to deal with the issues. You could take the, the piston out easy with that little knob right there. Um, a pin, you could, it's very easy to dissemble this. There's videos on it online, basically what they're saying. Very easy to dissemble, which I can agree with. Uses any mill, you know mag polymer mags uh, steel aluminum keep that in mind and all metals are resistant and corro and all metal parts of the weapon are corrosion resistance stock folding variable length of pull comb height weapon can be fired with a folded stock fully uh, ambidextrous safety bolt catch bolt release and charging handle and the length is 26 and 3 fourths folded 33 3 fourths collapse stock and 37 and one fourth all the way out the weight eight pounds and two ounces without the magazine um yeah i had a blast um the only con that i stated before was really the the little issues in the beginning but that wasn't like once i started shooting and it was working i had no issues with this gun whatsoever and i gotta say uh the weight is not that bad it is a very chunky boy this is chunky it's very this part is long, very, the, this, it's, it's still, I guess you could say girthy, but when you look at it from this perspective, it's, you know, it's not that big here, but it's very big here. But I mean, when you look at like scars and stuff, they're kind of similar as well, but it's not an issue getting a good grip on this bad boy at the end of the day. Had a blast, man. Very smooth shooter. I want to shoot it suppressed. We will shoot it suppressed, and we will get back out on the field with this very soon on this channel. So keep that in mind. Comes with your QD slot here. It did come also with a little bag for a QD slot for the M lock anywhere you want to place it. I don't know where the bag's at. It's somewhere, but it comes like with a little baggie that you can, you know, like the little typical just uh, M lock system that you can put a little QD so you can run your whole full QD here. But you have QD right here and QD here as well. So and you also have a little bit of these cutie like little sling latches on the back as well. So very, very beautiful. Really, really love it. And uh, yeah, man, you're gonna see this one back on the field very, very soon. Got the B5 systems grip. Um, and uh, yeah, 
Any questions, let me know. Is this a gun that you can utilize for home defense? I think so. I know that we are so stuck on the AR-15 you know, platform, which I have no issues with because I utilize it as well. I got a you know, Mark 18, I got my Rattler, like I utilize that manual of arms from the AR-15 platform, but this is a battle rifle, um, IWI. It's put out fabulous rifles and they are battle proven. They are utilized on the battlefield. So, you know, it's not something that, you know, it's something different, but it's not something that's, that can't be used. So keep that in mind and uh, you will enjoy it just as much as I do. So yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always. And I'm gonna see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.